Okay. Oh, thank you guys. Um, the class is officially on recording. And um, tonight uh, we are going to look at uh, what we call receipt metrics in project management. So, what is RACI? Why is RACI important in projects? And how do we create a RACI? That is what we're going to try to understand in this tonight's class. Okay. Let's first understand RACI in a very simple definition. So RACI metrics is a simple tool used in project management to define and assign roles and responsibilities for project tasks, deliverables, and decisions. It ensures clarity in accountability and avoid confusion among team members. As we are planning to start our first project, you see why it's important, because we are going to be working as a group, a team, a project group, Project group comprises of so many professionals. So, I in my last class, I see some people saying that they are not interested in business analysis. They want to be project manager, but they are not interested in business analysis. And that um, they don't want, well, I told them nobody is forcing, but this is a real opportunity you are getting you grab it you know how can you be a project manager without being interested in business analysis analysis everything in project management is business analysis you cannot run away from that as a project manager you must understand all the deliverables that a business analyst need to you know work on so racing metrics is very very important because it's going to help us to understand project deliverables and who is going to work on all these project deliverables it's going to make things very clear that nobody will do unnecessary overlapping or overzealous people we i've seen so many times we see of ourselves people they will leave what they are supposed to do and go and be doing other people's uh job racing metrics we want to remove all this confusion by making sure that all the project tasks all the project deliverable are assigned to the rightful people Everybody knows their rules and responsibilities very clearly. So RACI is the full name for, I'm gone. RACI, is the full name for responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. That's what RACI means. So R is responsible, the person or team completing a tax. And A, accountable, the person ultimately answerable for the tax success. They approve work and ensure it's completed. So every task needs somebody that needs to work on the task, and every task 
must be approved by somebody. It must be validated. In most cases, you see that the project manager is accountable for almost all the tasks. Accountable is that you make sure that this work is completed. So if you are not interested in some deliverables, for instance, uh, B is deliverable, how are you going to know that it's completed and is completed well and is completed within the acceptable quality and standard? How do you know that? Then we we'll have consulted C. Individuals or groups consulted for input or expertise. How some people call them subject matter experts. If, if mainly you see people have been working in a particular process for a long time. These are some of the people you need to consult for more information if you're working on a process. Then inform. There are a group of people that need to be informed about what's going on individual or group that keep them informed about the progress and the outcome. So these are what RACI stand for. There are times some people will say, I've done stakeholder analysis, why is RACI? Um, it's still good because it's good to understand their stakeholders. But why RACI is important is RACI is more focused on the actual work, deliverables and tasks within the project. The importance of RACI metrics in a project, number one is clarity. It clarifies rule, define who does what and avoid overlap or gaps in responsibilities. Some people like overlapping so much. They've not done, they will leave their, their position, their wing will be, you know, suffering and you see them overlapping. Yeah, if you can overlap, it's good, but you make sure that you finish your own tasks before trying to help other people do their own. So really try to clarify. And some people don't like you to come and tell them how to do their own job. So this is racy for you. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. It enhances communication. It ensures stakeholders are aware of their involvement and informed progress of the project. Another important is it improves efficiency. It reduces delay caused by unclear responsibilities. When there is no race, it's just like stakeholders, uh, project um, team implementing a project without a clear requirement. The class I just finished, they just started um, ERP project last week. And this week, some of them are delivering um, project um, business case. You are delivering a business case. You didn't do a requirement gathering, no requirement analysis, no nothing. You, you just, bah. so it's because of clear, some of them do not understand um, what needs to be done very well. So it's very good to pay attention to understand your responsibility in a project what needs to be done at every stage in a project. That's why we'll have life cycle. Follow the life cycle. The best way to learn is follow the life cycle. Know what is done at every stage within every life cycle. So 
when we understand all this, racing will help us to reduce delay caused by these unclear responsibilities. Identifies gap. Racing will help us to highlight areas where rules may be unclear or redundant. See, RACI is very, very key, it's very important. We understand it and we know how to use it very well as project managers. Key components of RACI metrics will have project tasks, break down the project into clear tasks or deliverables. Team members, stakeholders, list every involved, everyone involved in the project. Everybody involved, you list them. Rules, assign RACI rules to each task and stakeholders or team members. Everybody must assign what they are meant to do. And agreement, ensure all stakeholders agreed on their assigned rules. So in RACI, you don't, um, you can't do RACI in isolation as a project um, manager. You need to involve everybody, like you see here, agreement. After everybody, everybody happy is a consensus document. From there, everybody knows what they are doing and what they are not uh, supposed to do. And when the project starts, when you assign them their duty to do, they know they're already expecting you to do that because they have a recent document knowing what they are supposed to do. All they are waiting is for that task to be assigned to them officially for them to perform and to know when it's going to be assigned and the duration to implement the task. Everybody knows. But if there is no receipt, there are good people are going to struggle. Some people will start telling you, it's not my duty to do that. And you see people pointing fingers when there is a situation. Okay. Let's then understand how to create RACI, steps to create a RACI metric. Step one, identify project tasks, break the project into manageable tasks or deliverables. Example, for project like food tracker expansion, tasks may include market research, vendor onboarding, uh, delivery system setup, and so on. You need to break them down. These are various tasks. After breaking them down, then, that is when you people will then sit down as a group and then start assessing who is going to do this and who have the best capacity to do that. Like now, after breaking it down, we see this market research. The group will agree, yeah, everybody knows that market research is belongs to business analysts. Anything research, leave it to BAs. You know, so and from there. You start creating your, but well, the first thing is to break, identify all the tasks, break them down to become tasks. Make sure that they are manageable tasks. And once that is done, you list all your team members and stakeholders. Everybody that are going to be part of that project in one way or the other, you need to list them to see where they are going to get involved in the project in one way or the other. So include everyone. It's important to do this, Racy. After doing this very well, when you have created, when you are going to create your project plan, you created a project plan, you already have Racy. It's going to be easy for you to start assigning resources because you already know who is going to do what as agreed in the RACI metrics or RACI plan or meeting. So you have to identify all the stakeholders and team members, such as project manager, business analyst, technical lead, 
regional manager and logistics teams identify all of them once that's done you come to step three assign literacy rules assign r a c i that is race rule for each tax based on team responsibilities ensure no tax lacks a responsible or accountable role is very important every tax must have who is accountable and who is responsible with that you know whom to hold at any point if anything is going that's why you see project managers in the project they are accountable for most of the deliverables and you see them that's why they are always you see them they are very busy they are, seem they are they are nervous they seem that they are angry because everything is on their head accountable person is always facing pressure because when the stakeholders want to do anything they are going to the person accountable not the person that is responsible so you that is accountable you start chasing the responsible people around to do their work if they are not doing what they are supposed to do that is when you start having problems issues within the project so now under number three we assign rules so under number four we review and validate we share the metrics with stakeholders to confirm rules and address any gaps or conflict so you see you cannot create race in isolation like i said earlier the first when you are creating it you need to involve the stakeholders or your team members you guys are agreed on based on capacity everybody knows what they are going to do after planning then it becomes everybody know where they belong and it doesn't end there you need validation somebody at uh, higher authority line manager need to say yes i'm happy with this race and validate it once validated it can then be used and when you use it continue to maintain it so use great symmetry throughout the project and update it if rule or responsibility changes if anybody leave the team you need to update race whoever is replacing you need to know so that's really for you a very good handy document so this is an example of how a simple and the quality racing metrics uh, looks like this is um this is it so in racing metrics here in this um, row from here you capture the all the team members and stakeholders and in this column you capture all the responsibility all the tax or all the deliverable so this is tax so deliverable what need to be done and what needs to be done is market research, vendor onboarding, delivery system setup, platform customization, marketing campaign launch, and performance monitoring. So that's what needs to be done. These are what we captured for this project. Okay. Now we've seen, we've listed the tax and deliverables the next thing is to ask at uh, least the team members or the stakeholders available for this project and here you see the project manager the business analyst regional manager technical lead uh, logistic team marketing, marketing team so you see now you've um listed 
the two. So the next cell, which is number three, is to assign responsibilities or assign um, racy. I'm not going to use responsibility because uh, responsibility here is responsibility. I'm going to we're going to assign racy to all the parts and all the team members. Then under market research, we say that A is for accountable. So it means that the project manager is accountable for market research. Accountable means that the project manager makes sure that market research is performed within the specific time. Who does it is the person that is responsible. And we can see the business analyst is R, is responsible for this market research. And consulted during market research, if they need somebody with more to gather more information, kind of technical or subject matter experts within that environment, they need to consult regional manager. And during the market research, the technical lead because he's a team member they need to be kept informed about what's going on logistics team they are team members they are part of this project they need to be kept informed they need because everybody in a project should the project should be transparent even if you are not uh doing anything and you're part of the project you are not performing the the rule but you are not responsible or accountable you must know what is going on because your next job might rely on what others does so that's why everything should be transparent to everybody so that's why you keep them informed you don't keep anybody in dark as long as they're part of the project okay you come to vendor onboarding vendor onboarding you can see uh, this is responsible. The project manager is responsible for vendor onboarding. And maybe the business analyst is very good at uh, not having enough in information about vendor onboarding. He can become the consulted person. And here you see regional manager is accountable making sure that this is done because the project manager is reporting to the regional manager so we can say here yeah, you are responsible and uh, this person is accountable this person makes sure that this is done and every other person can be informed you see this person is consulted you can consult more than one person when you are looking for information or gathering requirements any information can go in any length to get the information so you know the right people that need to be consulted they need to be identified based on their level of expertise and delivery system setup under delivery system setup you can see um the technical lead because this is a technical issue. the technical lead make sure that this is done and every other person the project manager need to be informed and um, business analysts need to be consulted and the logistics team here need to be responsible because logistics is within the domain of delivery system so system setup so the logistics team should have enough technical expertise equally to make sure that this is done so and the marketing team this is setting up is more of technical work 
So the, the marketing, they might not contribute much here. This is not marketing, this is uh, developer work, but they need to be informed because they are part of the project. So this is how we keep analyzing every task or activity or deliverable. We analyze it as a team to decide who is going to take charge of that. So, and that's how every other person. So, if you are going to perform your RAC, you have to agree within your team. This is how you develop RAC, like this one. If you are, as we are going to enter into, this is um, for lecture purpose. So, when you are going to develop your RAC, you might say that some of the things here is not. Um, okay based on your own analysis or based on your own agreement as a team who is going to do this or who is going to do that but that is how RACI works so the best practice for RACI metrics is better to keep it simple that's number one Avoid overcomplicating over tasks or assigning multiple rules where they are not necessary. So it's better make things simple. The purpose of RACI is to simplify things. And a, a, a document or a strategy technique that needs to simplify the workflow, you don't go and complicate it. So, ensure accountability. Each tax must have one accountable person. We can never have two captains in a ship. Every tax must have one person that is accountable. So, once we have two people that are accountable, of course, it's going to uh, bring fight. So, one accountable person, accountability, a task must, accountable is somebody who is making sure, somebody who is going to take the blame when it happens. And nobody, that person that wants to take the blame, would never want to take the blame. Instead of him to take the blame, because you are working under him, you lose your job. You make it obvious that you are not performing, and you make it make it obvious that he, he himself is doing his job. You that is responsible if you don't do your job, the accountable person have the capacity to fire you. That's why they are accountable, and that's why we respect them because they have power over, you know, they have high power. So, the accountable person should have um influence or power over that particular activity responsibility so whoever is responsible must be re reporting to somebody that they can report to so that's the hierarchy game stakeholder buying review real um, rules with stakeholders to avoid conflict or misunderstanding so when you want people to do some certain jobs, try to carry your stakeholders along. You need their support in everything you do. They can be difficult people. They don't like you when you ignore, or when you don't carry them along. They feel they are stakeholders. That's why they are stakeholders, because they call the shots, they believe they more especially the influential stakeholders, those that have high influence. These are the uh, mainly the sponsors. So you have to gain their buy-in. Buy-in is not um, bribe, you know. Buy-in is make sure they support you by doing what you are supposed to do. It's not by putting 
uh, giving them brown envelope is not allowed. Okay. Update regularly. Project evolve. So update receive metrics um, regularly to reflect change in tasks or change in team. We find out that so maybe a task can change. Um, you update your RAC, or you see that maybe more tasks coming in. You can maybe during the course of the project, there is um, a, a request, a change request that has just gotten approved to so add more requirements in the ongoing project. But when you add more, more tasks, then it means the race needs to be updated. And if you are bringing more people to work, then rules, as either people are leaving or you are bringing more experts, professionals within the team, you need to update the, the race as well. It must reflect the current state of the project. Highlight dependencies. Use RACI and use metrics to identify dependencies and critical parts. Times you might not be able to, or it's always you can see dependencies. Uh, yeah, when you grade your yeah, um, responsibility in sequence, so it's always good. Use pages to capture. I use. Um, project um, life cycle that's how RACI should be the first stage second stage and other stages benefits of RACI metrics eliminate ambiguity ensure everyone knows their responsibilities and expectation facilitate decision making clearly identify who is accountable for approval or decision increase accountability encourage ownership of tax and deliverables and then improve team collaboration provide clear framework for team communication and interaction so and they have their own limitation as well but what we are looking at, everything has their limitation, but they have high benefits. Potential complexity. Large projects can make the RACI overwhelming without clear task definition. We have, when we have large uh, projects, trying to break everything down into RACI at times is overwhelming. But using RACI is very important as well. It is static in nature. It may not fully adapt to dynamic project unless maintained actively. Yes, like we said, it, it must be maintained actively. So that is one thing about it. And every project document, anyway, should be maintained. Over reliance, team might depend too much on racing, neglecting informal communication. Yes, informal communication is good, but first, do the formal one. Make sure you communicate formally. Do the work before you start. Informal is, you know, try to team bonding and the rest of do your work first before bonding so um i support racy the limit will have limitation but the limitation can be you know um ignored looking at so much benefits attached to racy okay racy Vast rule assignment tools. We have other tools, you know, but RACI is always what I use. I don't use others, I use RACI um, 
Brace is very good, but some of these other tools, uh, R A S C I and the D A C I. Uh, I know about them, but I don't use them. I only use RACI. So that's it. And then the key takeaway is a RACI is a very versatile tool for assigning roles and responsibility, ensuring clarity. Regular updates and stakeholder involvement are critical for success when you are using RACI. So that is um, that's it. And for full track expansion, uh, I'm just bringing this in to make sure that we are getting more comfortable with our project. So that's um, all we have for Racy. And when you we have a template we have been using over the years to do our race, which I want to share with you, so that when you are going to uh, be working, you can make use of the, the templates, which uh, by the time I will be uploading the lesson notes, I will equally upload the state, um, the templates for you to use. So um, this is, um, the templates we are talking about, these are RACI metrics. So in these templates, you can see here, um, I just pulled a template, a RACI submitted uh, by one of my students in, in their project for approval. So I just pulled it for you to see. So you see here in this race, they captured all the activities. The, the, here you see the project name and the project leader. Here is rules and persons. And here is the activities. Activity is equal called tax or deliverable, and here are for responsible, if accountable, consulted, informed. You know, that is the static nature of RACI. So, and in a detailed risk, you find out that some people can be responsible as well, and they are still accountable, meaning that it like a project manager, you can, you know, assign some, rules to yourself to do it while you are still accountable is is uh, is supported and it is consulted and informed and we we'll have as here support you know um when originally there is no s in race C, but over time there has been this ongoing argument that support should be, you know, included in RACI because there is need for support workers, like project support. I mean that these are people that might not really be um, working actively on the project, taking um, responsibility of, uh, a tax, but they are there doing one support or the other support. In project, we have project support officers or PMOs. They don't actively involve in the project, but they are there to provide support to the project team. So that's why this is captured here. But this is just to make sure that everything but the main purpose of RACI, it just ends in I. There is no S when RACI was originally introduced. 
So, okay. In this, how to use this document or this template? When you come here, you see receive project mandates. This activity, you can see who is um, who is uh, responsible to receive this project mandate. Project mandate is the same thing with project brief. So is the duty of project manager to receive this project mandate. Of course, the project cannot start without a project mandate. You see here, you see responsible. It's his responsibility to go get it from the project sponsors. It can be a piece of document given to you. It can be an oral briefing, and you write a note and come up with a written mandate or brief. What is the responsibility of the responsibility of the project manager to do that and accountable making sure that that is done? So we agree that there are some can be ra that is responsible and accountable just like we see here captured in here is equally can happen so that's why in so many of these activities are ra you see assemble project team you see ra define roles and responsibilities to define roles and responsibility using RACI, project manager, identify stakeholders and their expectation. And you see each of these like under receive project mandates is responsible. And then the business analyst here is should be informed. Every other team members should be informed about this. And CRM trainers and this, I don't, this should just be informed. So that is how this is done. So when you get a template like this, like I said, I just pulled this from one of my, you can clean it up and start your own race up here and now delete it and you see, this is how it's going to be. And I can equally come here, delete all these tasks and responsibilities and capture my own. And I start working, that's how. So in a meeting, that's how you start. Let's see here, as uh, we agreed and um, informed as we are agreeing all these things you can't just be clicking you as a project manager you lock yourself up inside the room and be clicking and uh, no you find out that in some cases the team might just even do argument no this and that so be, there should be agreement between you and the stakeholder that this is how it should be done so before everything you can then start using it as a document to manage your project. So it's just a technique. Some people do not use RACI to manage their projects. It's not a must, but it's a very good technique and the tool that help you to manage your project very well. So that's it. Um, it's a very simple document and is well explained. So, well, for me, I don't know, maybe both bills are be using it, but I think it's quite simpler. So, and here, this rule, if you want, you can clean up these rules and input your own um, rule here, whatever you want to put here. You can just even say SMA, sub, sub, um, subject matter expert, whatever you want. So, oh, you can come here, you can say dev. So, you can change it with any name, you can even say project sponsor, whatever 
is based on their own understanding and how you guys want to be roles involved in your project. That's how you are going to capture it. So it's not, it must not be in any other people's way. You have your own, you, first you list, like I said, list your own project roles, people involved. And that is what we are going to use here. List all the activities in your own project, and then I start assigning using uh, this. It's very easy because this is already formatted for you to just drop down and select, and that's it. So at this point, uh, we are going to uh, go to question section so that if you have any question, you can actually ask a question. So let's um, get started. Um, I'm all ears for any question you have and uh, a blessing. If you want to ask me a question, you need to put on your camera. If you don't, can't put your camera, just put your hands down because I'm not going to attend to you. All right. So. Uh, based on the people that are putting on their camera, that's where I'm selecting from. We'll have um, a, ma a blessing. If you are not putting your camera, I'm not talking to you. We have a uh, ma okolo. Ima, you are on mute. All right, good evening, Mr. Charles. God bless you. Yeah, you too. Amen. Uh, please, uh, like in preparing this uh, RACI matrix, what tools could one use to, pre to prepare this uh, RACI matrix uh, uh, table, if I may ask? Thank you. Uh, you can use any, you can see this particular one. If you look at this, you can see this is spreadsheet. So okay. that, then if you look at the one I captured on my lesson notes, that is what document. So this is just okay. a table. Use a table, you capture responsibilities in one side, you capture um role in the other side and be matching them. You just like matchmaking responsibility and who is going to do them and then agreeing as a team that i'm going to do this and i'm going to and this person is going to do that so okay. it's no there's no special tool like you see you can make use of this template i'm going to share it if you want to create your own and it's not difficult. You can use Excel documents. You can use um, Word document. As long as you can create a table, you are good to go. It's all right, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Aisha, oh, thank you. Yeah, Mr. Isaac. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mine is just a simple one. You mentioned um, um, subject matter experts as um, one of the stakeholders. As one of the stakeholders? Yes. Yes. OK. So my question is, this um, SME, is it the domain SME or a uh, general SME? There is no general SME. A, a subject matter expert must be on a particular domain. For instance, um, let's say you are working on this, okay, let's say ERP. We are working on ERP. There is somebody in that industry or sorry in that um department 
for instance, in finance that has been working on ARP, even if you people don't uh, want to migrate or want to, somebody is working within that environment that knows the information, knows the problem very well, knows the processes very well. These are some of the people who are going to capture requirement from to understand what is going on here. So that's why I say that some people said, can a, somebody have asked me, can a, a project manager work in any project? Yes. Can a business analyst work in any project? Yes. Because there are subject matter experts there. They are there waiting for you to come and capture requirement. They will tell you everything. They are storytellers. Tell you everything you need to know. You know, these are subject subject matter experts. They are experts. We call them domain experts. Yes. So these are them. And again, you find out that some business analysts are subject matter experts in so many domains. <laughs> you know, you can leverage that. For instance, if you are trying to do ERP implementation, and I'm a project, I'm a business analyst there. I know CRM domain very well. I can close my eyes and tell you everything you want to know about CRM. I know ERP domain very well. I know supply chain domain. So if I am in a, in a project, then I should be a subject matter expert. So such people, I can be the the project sponsor and equally a subject matter expert. So I'm there for consultation. So these people, that is um, their role. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Noted. All right. And um, yeah, so we are done. I think this, my strategy is working. If you are not on camera, no show for you. A very good strategy. Okay. And um so that some people will not be some people will be like uh, like you see Mr. Charles in camera, but they don't want Mr. Charles to see them. It's not gonna work, you know. Mr. Isaac, is it fair? No, it's not fair, sir. Uh, so we there's what we call called the uh, fair play. Yes. So someone said that they're shy. No, so the, the thing that some of them are already in their blanket and duvet. <laughs> yes, that's true. All the guys that ask question now they on their camera. All no, of who? them. All the two guys that ask question now they didn't on their cameras. Who? They did. They did. Ask question. I was on. Mr. Isaac. I saw them all. I saw them all. They did. That was. That was. I them. They did. You see, I'm not. I see. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not defending myself. They already defending me. They on during the class, but why asking questions? Their cameras were not on. Not at all. So we don't have the camera was there. There's no light. It's your network. I think it's your network because I saw them. There is no light. And the national grid has collapsed too. We don't have light. So we are in that. Yes. Okay. 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 I have a question, sir. Uh, well, hand, you, did you raise your hand? Oh, okay. Um, based on the people who are raising their hands, we have uh, class captain Stanley. Yes, we have Stanley. We have um, every Quinet. We have. Um, Okay, Chine, Chine is not uh, coming on. So, Quinet, you can you can have the the floor. Good evening, Mr. Charles. Good evening. Thank you very much for this class. 
my question is you know you mentioned that RACI helps to clarify the rules in project management yes or you know along the line as you are working with your theme when is the best time to introduce this racing matrix because most times you see that you started the project and there is no racing matrix but as a project manager you want to now introduce it so how do you get your team to come and agree on the road so that there will be no disagreement when is the right time no, to the, the, this race? the time you introduce racy before you start assigning rules, make sure you capture AC. You will help you work breakdown structure. Yeah, you can. You should add it because you should know that is there is some of the things you need to do. So you capture it in your work breakdown structure. But wherever you are capturing it, make sure that you are going to perform AC before you start even creating project plan. Because during the project plan, if you find out that you are going to start assigning, you know, um, roles, the roles yeah. to the project plan. If you don't have a race matter, if you don't, if you have not agreed on who is going to do what, then it's going to be difficult. But once you've done race, everybody will already know what I said it from the beginning. Everybody know what they are meant to do. They are just waiting for them to be for for their activities to be assigned to them okay yeah. thank you so much you're welcome and uh we have um she's about um okay uh this uh chile rosie um you can talk I think you 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 put on your you put on your camera and you run away. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Good evening. Uh, good morning. Before before Lu Alui Alui will say that I'm I'm favoring men alone. You know, they don't very soon they will bring gender here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Mr. Charles. My question is, you said that uh, you prefer RACI to other tools like the RASCI and the DASI. So why, as just, in, I'm like, just, why, just what's different? To, to ignore those other tools. I don't use them. The main thing I want you to understand is RACI. Okay, okay. And, um, you be, you've been talking about responsibility, people that are responsible. If you are working in, in, with a, a team and you find out that maybe some people are not responsible, do you have the authority to to um, release them or air them, or you must work with them? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Please, if you are not um, contributing, allow people that are contributing so that we can, because we are learning. So please. Okay. Release yourself, please. Okay, we say, you said um, if people are not responsible, responsible means that you assign a rule to them and they don't do their job and they'll be taking salaries. Is that, how come, how does it happen? You know, you you don't do that. There's you, you don't even need to ask this question. As a project manager, if you find people, these are people that are digging pit for you to to fall in, trying to sink the, the project. You don't pay such people. You know, so if people, that's why you are a project manager. That's why they say that you are accountable. Accountable is you take ownership of every responsibility, everything in that. If anything goes wrong, you are going to lose your job as a project manager. So that's why you are not going to spare them if you want to keep your own job. Let them do their job. 
So don't we don't spare that. You know, in our project very soon, I know so many of you uh once the immediately project start if you ask them to do something, they are working, they are doing this, they don't have time. All they are waiting is for the, the boot camp to be over so that they will go and download certificates. It's not going to work. You have to do your job in order to end this title. You know? So if you do not, everything we'll be doing here, I'll be receiving attendance, group work. I don't need to be on your meeting. So that's why we have, we need to elect credible team lead. You know, it's very, very important. And that's it. Um, I think I've, um, I've captured uh, everybody uh, who really want to um, uh, speak. So I want to speak. Uh my camera is on it's not my fault that you everywhere is dark side <laughs> okay no problem you can go on i can see your camera is on but you didn't put your light uh, sorry about that i don't have light right now so my question is uh, you say that uh, you cannot assign to uh, more than one person for accountability to be accountable for a particular responsibility so, do you have, um, how many times have you seen two drivers holding steering at the same time? No, I've not seen. Okay, why would you want us to do it here? Okay, what about responsible? Can two people uh, be responsible for what, uh, for what, for one task? Well, it depends on uh, two people can be responsible. You know, it happens. You know, but can only have one accountable person. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay. Sasha, please. Time. Time. Will, time. Are you people looking at time? With, um, with, uh, only one question, sir. Yeah, I want you, to ask one final question before we. Yeah, you, can, yeah, you, can see, you can see. You can see. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the office. I'm, I'm walking from the office. So many of us are walking from the office. We have to go home when we finish. But some of you are already in their bed covering themselves and they refuse to put their this in and they want to be talking. And from there, they sleep off. Yeah, yes, thank you. So, um, the last Please person, here, the last person with um, is Ogi. After Ogi, we are not uh, capturing anybody again. We've uh, spoken to Quinette. We we'll have Chizoba. If Chizoba is on camera, Chizoba can go on. Okay, Chizoba is on camera. We we'll have Ogi. And we can't I'm find. Oh. I'm here. Okay. I'm on, I'm on camera too, and I need to ask this important question. Yes, yeah, Stanley, you are just playing around. Not playing. Because, I'm, uh, serious. Not... I'm serious. I'm so, serious. Well, I can't see you raising your hand. I've seen your hand go up and down. Oh, it's my 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 bad. My bad. Let me let me let me. Let me okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, sir. Um, I just wanted to add to what you said in response to was it just about that talked or the last person that asked a question. I think the accountability um um partner should be someone yeah, like this. about accountability partner here. Yeah. Like like the the person that is accountable. Do you understand? You know, we talked about the people that are responsible for the task and the people that are also accountable. Do you understand? So I feel that they are more of like a team lead. You understand? For example, someone in an organization, when you hand over somebody something to someone that you can trust, and the person will like give you a feedback, like the person is like your eye there. So I don't think you can actually so two people cannot be accountable for it as well. Uh, 
question. Are you are but, you contributing or are you asking question? No, I like I'm contributing to what you said in regards to okay. the yes. Okay, thank you for your contribution. Your contribution is valid because two people cannot be accountable. Yeah. Thank you, Oge. I think this is the first time you are making a contribution and you made a valid contribution. Okay. Um Mr. Phillips. I hope I hope you are not yes, trying to use this opportunity to to contest for election or to, no, to no, campaign. No, no, I'm, I'm not even interested in the campaigning for now. <laughs> but I know so many people will call me for campaigning, but I might I might not be interested. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, my question is: You said something about uh, not being in, in more than one group. I saw when I was trying to you know log in. I like to join the group uh the the um the this thing our our this uh, the, um state or maybe the group chat or category group i saw where you where you wrote general group and where you divided the groups so my question is can we join the general groups and also we already have a general group so that general group there i'm going to remove it because we already have a general group you have been in a general group all this while. What? Why again are you needing the general group for? Or are we? Maybe I will rename it for maybe any other group. But the main thing is that you have a general group where we have been working on. All of us have been in general group, and we just suddenly have uh, subgroups, set groups. So. I don't know why you are going to be. Some people want to be spying. You want to be spying what is going on in Lagos. You come to Abuja, tell them, see, see where Lagos people do. We are lagging. But you don't need all this. Thing. Concentrate on your projects. And you know, you don't need to spy on any group. If I if you if we get to, it's going to distract you anyway. So if I so, want to know where we have what more people. Have, uh, Southeast. What? How south is there? How south are we have all those states? With the information, every every group is clearly stated. So we know why we have it that way. We say that if you are in social states, join the social group. So there is no clarification here. You know? So and we made sure that every any state you leave is captured. Only if you do not capture your state, every state is captured. So you must have your own state. If you are state, for instance, in North, the whole of North is not up to 20. You know, we find out that all the states are listed in North is one person per state. We cannot create a group for one person. Okay. So it's not possible. So all the where we are merging is where we do not have much people there. So we have to merge them so that they can come up and form a group. So and some state is so overpopulated. Some state like Lagos is overpopulated. So but we have to leave it that way. Okay, so, so if you're in any state, you don't need to like if you're in any state that is within the east, you don't need to enter the southeast again. Once you, you have already I if everything is well stated, I'm not going to repeat myself again. In but, southeast, we said if you are in social so state, join southeast. Simple. Not but, every okay. so if you are in social so state, join so some people. For instance, from Anambra, we go and join Southeast. Is that what he said? Follow instruction. We know that Anambra is in South, but he, at this point, we've done our own Southeast. We are not using the um, a National Assembly Southeast. This is um, Digitec Southeast. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, sir, so, you know, um, I'm always on the move. Like on January, once I'm through with our project here, uh, we'll be moving to Lagos, Just moving back to Lagos. So I don't know if I move back to Lagos, can I exit from the Padakot group uh, to join the Lagos? When, when we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. Amen. We will cross it, sir. Yeah. As all. All right. Thank you, everyone. And um, good night. Stanley will be this class lead. That's why he's asking whether he will carry the class leadership. <laughs> Stanley, I die up for you. You just, you just talk. Like, the next time, I'm calling my good a night. personal conversation. Yeah. I'm night. going to this <laughs> class. <laughs> what carry kind of class lead? Go, Lagos. Stanley, 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 Stanley,